academic research can be a very rewarding career path, but for early career researchers, or ECRs, there are many barriers to a successful research career. Gaining competitive research funding in the early years of an academic career is vital, but funding options are extremely competitive. Those who are successful at gaining funding early are more likely to gain additional funds and go on to have a successful research career. This is part of the Matthew effect. The decision process used to decide who gets research funding is called peer review. Peer review is when other researchers read applications and provide an assessment of its strengths and weaknesses. These reports are used by funders to decide whether or not to fund the research. In many situations, the peers' comments are provided to the applicant as guidance on how the decision was made. Contrary to the Matthew effect, a paper in 2019 found that applicants who narrowly missed out on funding at an early stage actually went on to have greater success a decade later. So we started to think about why this was the case. Perhaps these near misses had received a signal from the peer review reports that had convinced them to persist. Researchers from Lancaster University and Proposal Analytics, along with the Wellcome Trust, combined data from surveys, interviews, bibliometrics and linguistic coding of reviewer reports to investigate how applicants use those signals to make their next career decisions. These decisions could include whether to persist in research by making a future application, switching their research topic, or leaving academia entirely. The results from the interviews showed that applicants were more responsive to signals from feedback that was considered targeted, actionable, and fair. Targeted refers to feedback that is focused. It includes comments on the applicant or project based only on information included in the proposal. Actionable refers to comments that provide suggestions for improvements that can reasonably be made by the applicant. Finally, fair refers to comments that refrain from applying thresholds of performance which are not suitable for the ECR level. Feedback is considered good and to send positive signals if it is targeted, actionable and fair. Using these characteristics of good feedback, the study then analysed how reviewer comments returned to applicants informed their future career decisions and performance. The results showed that ECRs were more likely to resubmit applications if they received positive signals in the reviewer reports. In addition, the results showed that those who received positive feedback were also more likely to persist with their research careers. The absence of feedback also increased the likelihood of ECRs resubmitting their applications. ECRs who received negative feedback that was untargeted, unactionable and unfair were less likely to resubmit applications and in some cases left academia entirely. For ECRs, the results showed that feedback matters and should play an important role in reinvigorating the current peer review system used by funders. However, we can only achieve this goal if reviewers commit to providing good feedback, feedback that sends positive signals to applicants. Currently, not all comments provided to applicants are positive. If reviewers and funding agencies work together to ensure feedback is targeted, actionable and fair, we can build a peer review system that helps ECRs to develop their research and which encourages them to continue their careers in research.